myself Dhanasha, assistant professor at LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So today we are going to discuss a new topic, namely multiple integrals. So now let us begin with its first topic, that is double integrals over rectangles and general regions. So the double integral of f of x comma y over a closed bounded region R is defined by double integral over R f of x comma y d or it is written as double integral over R f of x comma y dx dy or it can be written as double integral over R f of x comma y dy dx. Okay. So now let us solve an example of double integrals. Here we have to evaluate double integral from 1 to 2 and from 0 to 1. 1 plus 3xy dx dy. Right. So let us start with the solution. So firstly we will evaluate the integral with respect to x keeping y as constant. Right. So on evaluating we will keep integration 1 to 2 dy as it is. Now just integrate this term with respect to x. So the integration of 1 will be x. 3y will remain as it is. And the integration of x will be x square by 2. Okay. So now let us put this limit that is 0 and 1 in place of x. So firstly let us put the upper limit that is 1. So putting 1 we will get 1 plus 3 by 2y minus now put 0 in place of x. So this term will become 0. This term also will become 0. So in all we will get answer as 0. Right. Now the final answer will be on integration with respect to y. Right. So now integrate this term simply with respect to y. So you will get integration of 1 as y. Keep this 3 by 2 as it is. Integration of y will be what? y square by 2. And the limits are 1, 2, 2. Now let us put the upper limit first that is 2 in place of y. So here we will get answer as 5. And if you put 1 in place of y, we will get 1 plus 3 by 4, right? Now on simplifying this, we will get the answer of the double integral as 13 by 4, okay? So now let us solve one more example. We have to evaluate double integration from 0 to 1 and from 0 to x e raised to y by x dy dx. Okay. So now let us start with the solution. So here firstly we have to evaluate the integral with respect to y first. So we have to keep x as constant. Right. So keeping x as constant and applying this formula of integration that is integration e raised to ax dx will give us answer as e raised to ax upon a. So here your 1 upon x is constant, right? So you will get answer of the integral as e raised to y by x upon 1 upon x and your limits are 0 to x. Okay? Now we will take this x in the numerator. So finally we will get integration 0 to 1 x into e raised to y by x and the limits are 0 to x dx, right? Now let us put the limits in place of y. So firstly let us put x. So x upon x will become 1. So what will remain x into e minus. If you put 0 in place of y, then e raised to 0 will give you answer as 1. So what will remain only x, right? So now let us evaluate this with respect to x. So e is constant and integration of x will be what? x square by 2. And integration of this x again will be x square by 2. And your limits are 0 to 1. Okay. So in the next step, just put the limits. Firstly, suppose if you put x as 1, then you will get answer as e minus 1 upon 2. And suppose if you put answer as 0, then the whole term will go to 0. So our final answer of the integral is e minus 1 upon 2. Okay. So now let us solve one more example and this is very important sum. Right. So we have to evaluate double integration over a region R x square dA where R is a region in the first quadrant bounded by the hyperbola 
x y is equal to 60 and the lines y equals to x y equals to 0 and x is equals to 8 okay so now firstly in order to find the limits we have to draw the graph of all the three curves right so let us draw the graph so firstly this is a hyperbola x y is equals to 16 right and it is in the first quadrant so this is the graph of x y is equals to 16 Okay, now draw the graph of line y is equals to x. So this is your line y is equals to x. Next, draw the graph of line y is equals to zero, which is your x-axis. Okay, and lastly, draw the line x is equals to eight. So this is your line x is equal to eight. Okay, now these curves are intersecting at these two points right so we need to find the point of intersection of line y is equals to x and the parabola xy is equals to 60 okay now suppose if you put y is equal to x so we will get x square is equal to 16 so x is equal to plus or minus 4 but our region is in the first quadrant so we will consider only x is equal to 4 therefore your y will also be equals to 4 so your point of intersection is what 4, 4 right and here the intersection is between the line x is equal to 8 and the parabola xy is equals to 60 so we have line x is equal to 8 and the parabola xy is equals to 60 so now let us put x is equals to 8 in this so we will get y as what 2 right so the points are 8 comma 2 so these two are the points of intersection now suppose we want to find the limits then the curve is converted into two parts right our region is formed into two parts that is we will consider the first region as r1 that is in the triangle o m and r right because here our vertical strip that is ab is between two lines and if suppose if you consider this region that is m r q p so here your vertical strip will be formed from line to parabola so our region is in two parts that is r1 and r2 consider this as r1 and this as r2 okay so now let us firstly find the integration over region r1 right so firstly let us find the limits of x and y so from this graph we can say that the limits of x will be what 0 to 4 right here it is 4 so the limits of x are from 0 to 4 and the limits of y that is you have to consider this vertical strip so the limits are 0 to x okay so now we will evaluate the integral over region r1 that is x square dx so firstly you have to always put inside the limit having variable so we are putting the limits of y first they are 0 to x and then put the limits of what x and they are 0 to 4 you can see from the graph the limits of x that is considering this horizontal strip in region r1 so it will be 0 to 4 and the limits of y will be what 0 to this line that is y is equals to x okay so now let us start the integration with respect to y first keeping x as constant okay so the integration will be this will remain as it is that is 0 to 4 will remain as it is dx will remain as it is x square is constant so keep as it is integration of 1 dy will be y and your limits are 0 to x okay so firstly put the limits in place of y so you will get x cube and suppose if you put 0 then that answer will be what 0 so only what will remain integration 0 to 4 x cube dx right so finally integrate this with respect to x so integration of x cube will be x is to 4 upon 4 and the limits are 0 to 4 now let us put firstly the upper limit and then the lower limit so you will get your answer as what 64 right because if you put 0 the whole term will go to 0 so integration of the x square dx is equals to 64 over our region r1 
now let us consider this region that is our region r2 so for region r2 we have to consider this part that is m r q p right so here the limits of x will be from 4 to 8 right from 4 to 8 and the limits of y will be from 0 to 16 upon x right so our integration i2 will be equal to double integration over region r2 x square dA. So firstly again we will put the limits of y first because it has variable that is 0 to 16 upon x and then put the limits of x they are 4 to 8 and the function is x square we have to integrate first with respect to y and then x. So firstly we will integrate with respect to y keeping x as constant right. So, our integral will become integration 4 to 8. Keep this x square as it is. Integration 1 dy will be equals to y. Your limits are 0 to 16 by x and dx. Right? So, now let us put the limit that is we have to put 16 by x in place of y. So, what will remain 16x? And suppose if you put 0, the whole term will go to 0. Right, so what has remained totally integration 4 to 8, 16x dx. Just integrate this with respect to x now. So the integration will be what? 16 into x square by 2. So 2 will get cancelled out. So finally what will remain? 8x square and limits are 4 to 8. Now put the limits. Firstly put the upper limit and then the lower limit. Right, so what you will get? 8 times. 64 minus 8 into 16. Simplify this so you will get answer as what? 384. So this is the answer of the integration over region R2. Right? So final answer that is I. That is equals to I1 plus I2. So totally we will get the answer of the integration over R x square dA. So just add the two integrals that is 64 plus 384. So in all you have got your answer as 448 right. So again let me repeat the limits of this sum right. So firstly you have to consider your region as R1. So considering the region as R1. So your region is O M R right. Triangle this triangle. So on this the limits of x will be what 0 to 4 right. And your limits of y considering this vertical strip, limits will be 0 to x. Okay. Now consider your region as R2. Right. So limits will be from in this region that is R, M, P, Q. So consider your horizontal strip as this. So your limits will be what? 4 to 8. These are the limits of x. And the limits of y will be considering this vertical strip. Right. So, your limits will be from y is equal to 0 to this parabola. So, you have to make y as a subject. So, it will be y is equal to 16 upon x. Okay. So, in this way taking horizontal and vertical strips, you have to find your limits and then evaluate the integrals. Right. So, I hope you have understood throughout the session. Thank you for watching.